Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be five minutes. Today in the news, a huge new trailer dropped for a game that has been begging for a follow-up for a long time. Of course, I'm talking about Cat Quest 3. That's right, the Cat Quest continues, and I unabashedly love these games. I can't believe how good this one looks, and honestly, the meta nature of the story and the crazy subplots, and I'm just, oh, that's, that's not what, you thought I meant? You thought I was talking about something else? What else, what else could there be? Oh, you mean the other trailer, the nine minutes of amazing footage from the upcoming Warhammer 40K Space Marine 2. The stunningly beautiful new footage that gives us a look at the scale of the Warhammer universe and the war against the Tyranids. And our boy Titus is back, kicking some serious ass. And while much of the nine minutes is just a stompy romp through the wonderfully rendered world, when that battle kicks off, man, the third person action really shines. I have no idea what this means for the full game, if it's gonna look as cool as this or seem as cool as this. You know, it's just a slice after all, but if it's any indication, this game's gonna be amazing. Now, will it be as amazing as Cat Quest 3? I don't know. Maybe? I love Cat Quest. You think I'm joking. You think I'm joking. Play those games. They're so good. If you want to see the trailers, links are down below. In other less cool news, Sony is bumping the price of PlayStation Plus tiers. That's right, the annual sub for the subscription service will bump from $60 to $80 for the lowest tier, PS Extra is going from $100 to $135, and PS Plus Premium will bump from $120 to $160. As reported by Kotaku, Sony buried the news at the bottom of a new PlayStation blog post sharing the PS Plus plus games getting added for September, which includes 2022 Saints Row Reboot. We also wanted to let you know that starting September 6th, we will be increasing the price for PlayStation Plus 12 month subscriptions globally across all benefit plans, the company wrote. This price adjustment will enable us to continue bringing high quality games and value added benefits to your PlayStation Plus subscription service. So let's break this down. First off, if you have a subscription already, None of this comes into effect until after that subscription lapses. So whenever your year is up, then you're charged the new amount if you subscribe yearly. Also, when talking about yearly subscriptions, before when you subscribed yearly, you would save $96-ish. Now, it's 56, which is a big hit. And sure, while it's technically still cheaper than Game Pass, really, it doesn't feel all that cheaper when considering Game Pass is giving you a lot of amazing day one games. Starfield is coming out day one on Game Pass. And paying a little bit more on Game Pass feels worth it. You're getting day one releases of new games, these first party titles from Xbox. They've got all these big studios now. It seems like Sony is just jacking up the price to give you more, but then also saying you're not gonna get the things you want. They said you're not getting Spider-Man. It's just not happening, right? They're not gonna give you big releases. So when you look at the games on PlayStation Plus, they're just not as good, right? If I had to choose between these two services, Game Pass wins every single time. So right now Sony's saying, hey, pay us more so we can deliver a better service, but with no indication of what that actually really means. And it doesn't appear like it means anything of value to players at the moment. I don't know, I, I have plus because, you know, I'm running a business and I, want to have all the things so I can have access to all the stuff for businessy purposes. But if I had to choose, yeah, like I said, I would go with Game Pass. What are your thoughts on this? It seems like another arbitrary increase in price that they've done before. They did this in, I think, the beginning of 2022, March, and uh, they, they keep jacking up prices. I don't know. It seems ridiculous to me. And then, because it's a game I can't put down and I just like talking about it, Baldur's Gate 3 could be getting DLC. In a recent interview with IGN, when asked about the idea, senior product manager Tom Butler said, we'll carry on patching for a while, and then we're all gonna take a holiday, then we'll figure out what to do next, Butler explains. But at the moment, we genuinely have discussions. We want to do more. We don't know what yet. And of course, anything that's forthcoming will take the team a long time. It took a long time to get to this point, unless they've been secretly working on something, which would be awesome. 
But uh, the game is huge. It has incredible replay value, and as seen on this Reddit post, it is retaining more players than any other single player game. I assume one, cause the game is massive, and two, cause a lot of things can happen based on the way you play the game. Just the other night, people in my chat were saying that a scene I was getting was something they never seen, and it was all cause of the choices I made. So I think they and a lot of people understand that the need for a DLC right now isn't necessary, but, it is greatly desired. People want to spend more time in this world. They love the characters. They love the story. They love the world building. They love all the different things you can do. And more, more is better. Speaking of more, you can catch more of me and my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough over on Cox Clips. If you've missed all the streams, catch up there. That's it for me. See y'all tomorrow for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.